Church Square was originally the place where all the farmers used to bring all their produce on a weekend to sell to the local populace. Today it is just a beautiful square and has some very historical buildings. If you look on the right, that red colored building, that was Paul Kruger's Parliament building, known as the Rod Saal, very historic building. On our left, the original post office of Pretoria. And straight ahead of us, the building there is called the Palace of Justice. And it is the High Court of Pretoria today. On the center, on our right now, in the center of the square, there is the statue of Paul Kruger. He was a big man, stood well over six foot, and was always in the habit of wearing a top hat, so made him look even bigger. Marching to Pretoria, Pretoria, Pretoria. We are marching to Pretoria, Pretoria, hooray. Very good singer. Well, it was your old British. Yeah, that's, that, that song came out of the Boer, Anglo Boer War. It was the British uh, soldiers who used to sing this. Although the white people in South Africa are a minority, I think you will find that most people in South Africa, most white people, do not feel marginalized in any way. We, one of the things that happened when we became a democracy, President Mandela, when he came out of prison, when he was released, I don't know about any of you, anybody here, but if I had spent 27 years of my life in prison for my political beliefs, I think I'd probably come out pretty bitter and twisted. He didn't. And neither did his colleagues who were in prison with him. Instead, when they came out, they preached reconciliation. In other words, forgive. Don't think about revenge. Just forgive what has happened. What they said was, let's not forget it, because we must never allow it to happen again, but let's not dwell on it. Let's try and build a new nation. And he coined the phrase, the rainbow nation. In other words, a nation of many colors. Although in a very, very much a minority, there are quite a number of Asians in the country, citizens, and a lot of what we call colored people. Now, colored people are people of mixed blood, okay? And then we have the black people who are in the majority. Sorry, I'm just going to interrupt myself. On the right here is the Pretoria City Hall. 
with Andres Willem Pretorius on the horse. As I say, the, the, the spirit in South Africa since Mandela came to power has been one of living in harmony together with one another. Forget about racial issues, that sort of thing. Just don't allow it to get in the way. And um, I think it's worked. The majority of South Africans, the vast majority, just want to live together, work together. I think we all have succeeded to a very large extent. Very often we find in areas where the, there are predominantly white people, um, they will elect a black person who lives in the area because there's no real distinction of where people can live. It's not like the days of apartheid where people were limited to where they could live based on the color of your skin. On our left, beautiful gardens there, you'll see a, uh, a bust of a person. That is General Jan Smuts, who was Prime Minister of South Africa during World War II and was also on the Allied War Cabinet. And his third bank fame was that he also assisted in writing the preamble to the Charter of the League of Nations, which was the forerunner of the United Nations. Okay, on our left here, the Union Buildings, the seat of government in South Africa, the administrative buildings of the South African government. And we're going to stop here for about 25 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. You're welcome to get out, go and take a cross over the road, be careful of traffic. And have a look at the beautiful gardens down on our right.
Right, we're now going to go through the little suburb known as Brintirian. Brintirian is the residential area for most of the senior government people and for a lot of the embassies. Embassies and in some cases high commissions as they call them. Okay. Ivory Coast uh, ambassadors. You'll see a big area, big concrete building. There's a big satellite dish on it, and it's got high fences around it. Uh, our local name for it is Fort Knox. It's actually the embassy of the United States of America. Figures. <laughs> when he was president of the Transvaal Republic. Uh, this was where he lived. As I say, they're refurbishing the place now and repainting it. But this was the house he lived. He was always happy to sit out on this veranda and anybody could come along and talk to him at any time. The two stone lions there were presents given to him by one of the mining magnates, a man by the name of Barney Bonato, who was obviously trying to curry favor with him. See on the left here now is the prison. And the old prison, of course, was the one place in South Africa where capital punishment was carried out by hanging. Today we don't have capital punishment in South Africa. We've abolished it entirely.